mais e to v w x. Okay? I have no idea how my opponent is going to pick those vw and x. I have to be ready in my next stage for any possible way my opponent might have chosen these to split this string up. Now you play the opponent. The last stage in this game is I'm going to try to pump up this middle part that you, the opponent, is going to pick. I'm going to try to pump it up and get something that is not a palindrome. vw to the ix, that's not in L. That's going to be my job in the very next stage of the game. We're in the penultimate stage of the game. You get to pick the VW and X to make me suffer. So it's this big opportunity. What do you want to pick? What if you pick the W? So my opponent picks V to equal 0 to the K over 2, W to equal 1, and X to equal 0 to the K over 2. That's perfect. Well, let's check if that's reasonable. Remember the conditions my opponent has to abide by? There's a couple conditions they have to abide by. They can't just split it up randomly into three parts. Because I'm asking them, tell me the first loop you came up with. That's what I'm asking them for this W. And the only condition that I can impose on them is that, that I don't know where that loop is, but I know it's got to happen in the first N symbols, or excuse me, the first K symbols. The VW part has to be less than or equal to K. Well, this VW part is certainly less than or equal to K, right? It's about K over 2 plus 1. So they're OK so far. And they gave me a real loop. The W is bigger than or equal to 1. And it's actually the string 1 itself. So you didn't do anything wrong here. You came up with a perfectly reasonable way to pick VW and X. And I'll write that down. VW is certainly strictly less than or equal to K. And the W is certainly greater than or equal to 1. Uh, note. That's your opponent note when you send it to me. I go, OK, fine. And now I look and I go, crap, I'm dead. Because whatever I use for i, no matter how many times I pump up that w, I get a palindrome. It does pump out. It does satisfy the pumping property. So this whole attempt at showing that the pumping property didn't work failed. I made my move. Sorry, you made your move. I made my move. You made the last move in the game, checkmate, I got killed. Every single I I try doesn't work. Can you use that some, does it have to be the middle value? That's the only one I'm allowed to use. That's the only one I'm allowed to pump out. Well, you guys might want to help me if you were bad opponents you know, and, and make the W easier. But, but you want to be my opponents. You want to pick this W to make my life as hard as possible. So what I did wrong here is I didn't play this game well enough. I started with such a bad move that you guys could checkmate me even though I should have won the game. I should have succeeded in this proof. You made me fail in this proof not because I really can't succeed, but because I started so badly. This is tricky, but it's just technical. It's not really deep. It's just technical. You have to show that this property doesn't hold. And in order to do it, you've got to make the right choices along the way. Just because you make a wrong choice doesn't mean there wasn't a better choice to make. So I made a bad choice. I picked a bad string to start with, and you guys won. That doesn't mean that the pumping property necessarily holds. It just shows that this one attempt at, at showing it doesn't hold didn't work. I'm going to pick a better string, and I'm going to nail you guys. OK? Seth, what are you thinking about? <laughs> Waiting for my better string? <clears throat> All right. Waiting for my better half here. OK, let's do this with better string. Instead of this, let's pick what actually might seem like a more natural string. 0 to the k, 1, 0 to the k. Let's do that string. That might have been the first string you might have picked. So my opponent has to set 0 to the k, 1 to 0 to the k equal to vwx. Now, can you guys pick w equals 1 now? Now I nailed you down because I made the first case symbols have all zeros in them. And you have to pick your VW in that section. The VW has got to be less than or equal to K. This no longer is a possible choice for you guys. You can't find the loop in the first case symbols and have the loop be a 1. Because there is no 1 in the first case symbols. The only thing you could possibly do, and I will note this, my opponent sets this equal to VWX, and I note that 
the W equals 0 to the M for some M between 1 and K. No matter how you split it up into three parts, I know that the W part is going to be all zeros. And that's what I'm noting here. It's some number of zeros that's more than 1 and less than K. Everyone agree? I say, where's that first loop? It's got to be in those first case symbols. You can tell me how big it is. You can tell me where it is. But whatever you, whatever you tell me, it's going to be all zeros. OK. So at that point, it looks like some of you got confused. Let me stop for a second. All I did now is notice that if you split this into three parts, you as my opponent, the middle part's going to be all zeros because I got you nailed in the zero to the k section. And now here's how I'm going to finish the game and win. I'm going to say let i equal 2. Pump this up, that means one extra time. Here's u, sorry, v, w, 2x. What does this equal? vwx was equal to 0 to the k, 1, 0 to the k, right? That's my z. It used to be equal to this. If I pump up an extra w in it, how many extra symbols, what symbols do I get? I get m zeros. So it looks like this now. 0 to the k plus m, right? It's in that section, followed by a 1, followed by 0 to the k. And m is definitely bigger than or equal to 1. And that's not a palindrome. Because the 1 is in the middle is shifted off center. And I conclude, which is not a palindrome. And then I say QED, I'm done. All this is necessary to show that the pumping property doesn't hold for palindrome. I'm going to stop for a minute for questions. Gary, you got a question? Hence, palindromes are not regular sets. Hence, palindromes are not regular sets. Yes, but that's not a question. That's just the correct statement. Yes, you're right. My intonation didn't indicate. No, no, you got to be a little more. Uh, there you go. <laughs> more confidence. <laughs> like that. No, that's good. Good. Exactly right. We finish with this, hence palindromes are not regular sets. Hence the set of palindromes is not a regular set. Now I got it. Erica, OK. Yeah. Tom, good. There's a good friend of mine who teaches like this. And I actually like it, but I rarely ever do it. I think it really actually works. At the end of anything complicated that he ever says, he stops, and he goes around the room, and he looks. And it's, it's really tough if you're in the class, because you can never take a minute to space out for a second. He goes, Michael. You get it, Michael? You really get it? Anybody who doesn't have an amazingly confident look on their face. <laughs> Andrew, make sense? And then, and then if there's any hesitation on the, yeah, I definitely get it. He, he explains exactly what he thinks you don't get. It, the lectures can go on a long time, but it's <laughs> Doesn't that just encourage your students to lie? No, but it's very hard to lie about that. Because you never know if he's going to ask like a follow-up question. You never say, well, I definitely get it. Because then I'll say, OK, well then, if I did this, does that make sense? And they go, uh, I didn't really mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about dinner tonight. Sorry. Uh, you can't lie. The bacon brownies. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do another example. And then you guys will be more involved with this one, and you'll get a sense of how it works. I did this. Look, this is hideous. It's hideous because if I had you read this, there would, unless you're good at reading math, you wouldn't get the idea behind it. But this is how you write it up. When you write your problem set up, either write very good English paragraphs describing a dialogue with an opponent that you clearly explain the you know, give and go and, and the give and take or whatever. Or write it up like this mathematically, where, you know, let w equal 0 to the m because it's got to be very careful. This is a formal way. Sometimes if I don't do one example like this, somebody says, well, I get the idea, but I'm not really sure what, where to go from here as far as how to write it. And the answer is that's it. It looks something like that. Let's do another example. Yeah, Neil. Like one of many 